Today, we're gonna see how NFS Payback runs on a laptop with NVIDIA 940M graphic card. So, let's get started. So, the laptop that I'm referring here is the Aspire 572G, which has i5 processor, NVIDIA 940M graphic card and whatnot. So regarding the requirements of the game, I'll write the requirements of the game in the description too as well. If you want to check it out, look in the description below. And yeah, let's get in the game now. And uh, I forgot, there will be a counter up top here or here, which will show the correct FPS in real time. So without wasting any time, let's get in the game.
This is how NFS Payback runs on a laptop with NVIDIA 940M, particularly my laptop, which, ha which is the Acer Aspire 5 2G. It has an i5 processor, fourth generation one, and the graphic card is the same as I told earlier, that's NVIDIA 940M with two gigs of VRAM. It has 12 gigs of RAM because I used Premiere on this, that's why it's 12 gigs. So the minimum RAM, I guess, was eight or six. So. I guess most of the people will be covered there. So as you would have seen from the gameplay, the frame rates were good at some point for like one second, it went up to 30, 35 and then shot down to 10 or 15. So it was a headache to play the game. So yeah, coming back to my question, which I, which was the title of the video, is this the best game to play on the NVIDIA 940M? Well, let me know in the comments below. So if you also got a headache watching this video, do hit the like button because you know, I got multiple headaches while creating this video. And if you dislike the video, well, don't dislike it. Uh, if you have any queries regarding this game or anything regarding tech, let me know in the comments below. And since you're commenting, hit that subscribe button. That it is a red button. It's written subscribe on it. You can just click on it and you'll get subscribed. That's all for my side. This is Salim, you've been watching The Gadget Ninja and I'm signing out.